Welcome to Watermelon. If you're a celebrity, paparazzi inevitably becomes a part of your life. However, the relentless pursuit and bright camera flashes can test even the most composed individuals. These are the moments when celebrities clash with paparazzi. Ron Perlman is a big, strong man, mostly known as Hellboy, a superhero from the eponymous movie. However, by 2023, he had already turned 73 years old. Apparently, aging and being overweight caused some mobility issues, so the actor needed wheelchair assistance at the airport. But when a paparazzo refused to stop filming him, Perlman quickly forgot about these issues. Speaking with? Yeah. That's a thing off. You hit me, I'll sue you. You hit me, I'll sue you. I'm not gonna hit you. You hit me, I'll sue you. You hit me, I'll sue you. Oh yeah. You hit me, I'll sue you. Bad off, motherfucker. You see that? We're all under a rock. Movies directed by Tarantino are famous for their iconic dialogues. My ass may be dumb, but I ain't no dumbass. In real life, he is as expressive as his characters. That's why this interaction with the paparazzo seems like another Quentin's film. What are you doing? What are you doing? Can you, can you not talk to me? Just for, uh, just for the... What are you doing? Oh, no, go, go up. first. Go first. No, 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 I go, 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 go. But if that was off, I'd be whipping your ass up and down this street. Yeah, go. Yeah. This is Nick Jonas and Sophie Turner going back to their car after dinner at a restaurant. And people with cameras surrounded their car and their bodyguard had to intervene. One of them refused to back off and push the security. Back up, guys. Back up. Back up, bro. Don't hit me, bro. Don't fucking touch me. Really? Don't fucking touch me, bro. Hey, guys, come on. Some people believe Kanye West overtly controls his wife, and she has no free will. I'm not sure if that's true, but asking Kanye with a phone close to his face was a pretty bad idea. This guy had been following Justin Bieber all day, annoying him with provocative questions. Justin, I know you're Canadian. Would you sing at Trump's inauguration? I mean... That's a stupid question. Well, no, no, this is a legitimate question, though. Trying to annoy him back, Justin found nothing better than saying this. No, I mean, What's like. What's wrong with your face? Why aren't what, you asking me What does questions? it look like? What does my face look like? It's, it's just the way your face looks. There's something wrong with it. It's nothing about your features, it's just like the insecurities in your face. Ah. Asking the dumb questions that you're asking. When Nipsey Hussle noticed people were following him with cameras, he just casually opened their car and grabbed their phone. What you doing? What you doing right now is theft. You hey, that's theft. I'm not stealing nothing. You just hey, you took just, the phone out of the car. You just took the phone oh, out of the like car. Huh? Y'all don't like that, oh, I don't care. Hey, that's Nipsey, crazy. that's illegal what you what just did, bro. After browsing through their device, he returned it, but then it was a lecture time. A celebrity, ain't you? Hey, bud. Ain't you trying to do something? Hey, bud. What's up, bud? Um, next time good. you do something slick, make sure you ain't slick. Make Next time you do something slick, Make sure you ain't slipping. Okay, but I mean, y'all are both celebrities. Stop yelling, though. Oh, Stop yelling. Where you from? I'm not from this world you from, bro. Okay. I don't go by these rules, homie. Okay. And I've been to jail. That don't threaten me, bro. Trust okay. me. So next right. time you do that, make sure your doors ain't unlocked. Make sure your phone ain't slipping. And you lucky I wasn't on no bullshit today because I would have tested your jaw. Trust okay. me. And these paparazzi managed to scratch Jada Smith's car. Did you just take my car? Oh, no. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh. Let me be. Let me be. Oh, no, that's you. That's you. <laughs> 
Surprisingly, she took it quite calmly. <laughs> it's all good. You guys have a good day. I guess that's because there was no one around to slap them in the face. This guy actually helped Ben Affleck when he had driven into a Starbucks sign. I guess not all paparazzis are harmful parasites. Although he was probably the reason why Affleck was driving carelessly. Just wanted to get away from the guy. This guy must be a huge soccer fan. One slight push from Ashton Kutcher sent him flying to the ground in the best traditions of Neymar. What do you think about them pulling your ad for the uh, Indian thing? Whoa. Drive, drive careful, man. Peace. The worst thing is when paparazzi start taking pictures of your children. Hilary Duff perfectly understands that stalking is their job, but once her son got involved, she had to step in. Legalizing gay marriage is awesome. What should be illegal is you guys taking pictures of children. That's not cool. It's not okay. Clearly, he doesn't like it. Right. You know, I understand you're doing your job. I have a job to do, but that's my kid, and that should be illegal. This paparazzo really wanted James Gandolfini to unleash his inner Tony Soprano. David Beckham is the chillest guy in the world. And here's the angriest David you can witness. The reason is some man taking pictures of his son in the store. Don't take pictures of children. It's you. You're taking pictures of children. Video What's up, David? Children. You're taking video of children. I'm taking video, video of you, David. You're not in my video. You're taking video of children. I'm filming my children. I'm, I'm filming you, David. Children. David, you're, you're the filming, sexiest man alive. Children. David, you have a great day, man. Yeah, you're very disrespectful to children. You know that. After that, a young woman began filming them and gave them a middle finger. You're very disrespectful. Oh, lovely. I've got young children in here. And you're... You didn't call me a cook? I would never call anybody that You just word. called me a cook. Because you're a nice guy, David, aren't you? A For a young lady, you're very disrespectful you to children. Me. You're a you nice guy, David. Cook. Surprisingly, Cardi B doesn't hate paparazzi, at least not all of them. While in Paris, she shared why French paparazzi are way better than their American colleagues. You know what it is? Huh? I really love the paparazzi out here because let me tell you about fucking American paparazzi. You guys, when you guys put pictures of yeah. celebrities, uh -huh. you guys make sure that they look nice. Yes. Guys, I don't understand why American paparazzi, yes. like they will really post a picture of you looking like this. Yeah. Oh. That guy came up with the dumbest question possible to ask Conor McGregor. How would you and you versus Jesus in the octagon? How would that? How would he fare? And he actually gave an answer that many found blasphemous. Yeah, no, uh, how would me versus Jesus in the octagon? I tell you what, there's not a man alive that can beat me. <laughs> but Jesus ain't alive, is he? So I don't f***ing know. Maybe he could come back from the dead. Not, I don't know. I'd still whoop his ass. <laughs> Next time they met, Connor was wise enough to give an answer the guy deserved. Mate, shut the f up and you me. You're a, like, remember that Jesus shit you brought up? Yeah. It's such a stupid question, man. What? Connor, 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 you're an idiot. Connor, 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 Connor. You might think of Reese Witherspoon as a typical Karen, but there was a valid reason for her frustration. Paparazzi were driving carelessly while following her on the road, and now they found themselves sitting in a bush and being lectured by Reese. You take pictures of me all day. You're gonna try and hit strollers and people like p walking on the street, moms and kids? That's totally irresponsible. You're a public nuisance, you realize that? Honey, you're driving way too fast and there's little children and old ladies on the road and you're hitting people, you're scaring people. I didn't, okay. Take okay. responsibility for your actions so that you can be a responsible citizen. Jeffree Star faced a very unpleasant and rude guy filming and trolling him, but he handled it in the best way possible. He simply ignored him. What we have here, uh, this is classic. What's your favorite color? No comment. No comment. You look great. I mean, that is a great getup. <laughs> P. Diddy was leaving hot Pilates when a paparazzi jumped out of nowhere. Although he was caught off guard, surprisingly, he didn't seem angry. He, he, yeah, just jumping out on the motherfucker like that. <laughs> Please, man. It's, okay. just, it's just like a, a res uh, mutual respect. Okay. I'm always Everybody cool, wanted sure. to know about Cassie. They were happy for her about the pregnancy. So, all right, man. Well, good seeing you, Diddy, bro. Take care. This is Kendall Jenner and her message to paparazzi that followed her on the road.
and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content, and see you in the next one.